A textbook is a book of instruction. Its primary aim is not to impart information about a specific subject but to enable one to develop proper understanding of the subject. Presentation is extremely important and it is prepared to serve a particular level of readership. It cannot be comprehensive. Often presentation is colorful and attractive giving plenty of illustrations and diagrams. A good textbook takes into consideration the method of teaching and level of readership. It is revised keeping in view new development and changing methodology of teaching. Now I am going to discuss about the qualities of a good mathematics textbook. The qualities of a good textbook in mathematics can be broadly classified under the following heads. At first, physical features. The paper used in the textbook should be of superior quality. It should have quality printing and the binding of the book should be strong and durable. The printing should be bold and easily readable. It should have an appealing and attractive cover page. The second one is author. It should be written by qualified, experienced and competent teachers of mathematics or a committee of expert constituted by state government. The third one is content. The textbook should be written according to the prescribed syllabus and every aspect of the syllabus should be adequately covered. It should be in accordance with the aims and objectives of teaching mathematics in that particular class. The content presented in the textbook should be accurate and up to date. It should include the recent developments in the mathematics relating to the content dealt with. The contents of the textbook should have a direct, practical and social utility value. Oral mathematics should find its due place in the textbook. The answers given at the end of each section should be correct. It should satisfy the demands of examination. The fourth one is organization and presentation. It should provide for individual differences. It should meet the need of students of varying abilities, interests and attitudes. There should be sufficient provision for revision, practice and review. The textbook should relate the classroom learning to the real life needs and the physical and social environments of the learners. The subject matter in the textbook should be carefully organized with reference to the logical as well as psychological consideration which make teaching effective. The content should be organized in the increasing order of difficulty. Principle of vertical correlation should be followed to relate the present knowledge with the past and future. The presentation of the content should foster right attitude towards self-study and self-reliance among pupils by suggesting project work, field work and laboratory work. It should facilitate the use of analytic, synthetic, inductive, deductive, problem solving and heuristic approaches to teaching. The textbook should stimulate the initiative and originality of the students. It should offer suggestions to improve study habits. The fifth is language. The language used in the textbook should be simple and easily understandable and within the grasp of the pupils. The style and vocabulary used should be suitable to the age group of students for whom the book is written. The terms and symbols used must be those which are popular and internationally accepted. All terms and concepts and principles used in the textbook should be clearly and accurately stated and defined. Exercise and illustrations. The presentation of the subject matter must be attractive and interesting with appropriate illustrations in terms of pictures, diagrams and figures. The diagrams used in the textbook should be easily recognizable and geometric construction should be in proportion with the measurement prescribed by the problem. The illustrations should be accurate, clear and appropriate. It should provide adequate opportunities to motivate the students to solve problems by presenting adequate number of worked out problems and problems constructed from daily life. 
situations requiring the student to apply mathematical principles and formula for their solution. The text should contain some difficult problems or exercises to challenge the mathematically gifted students. There should be well graded exercises given at the end of every topic to satisfy the needs of all calibers. At final, general quality. The textbook should be of latest edition with necessary modifications. The book should be moderately priced and readily available in the market. Now try this.